Hi guys, it's me. I'm still alive and coming out of my tomb looking like a rancid mummy to talk about video games again. Yay! Never mind the fact that we had some of the greatest hits on the last few months, I haven't left the bad cave because I didn't really feel like I had anything to add to the shit show we've been seeing in the last few months. But I'll come out of retirement for this one. Because it's one of the stupidest, most egregious takes I've ever seen in the gaming industry. And of course, it couldn't come out of any other place other than Ubisoft. Lord knows how that company still makes any money. A few days ago, an employee of Ubisoft had this to say after the negative reception of the latest Ubisoft games and of the soon-to-be quintuple A game Assassin's Creed 50 Shadows of Shit. I rarely post on social media, but today I am sad, ashamed and sad. The gaming industry is rough at the moment, we all know it. But seeing how gamers react on social medias wishing ill fate to companies and people alike is sad. And not only towards Ubisoft. Even though it is always the vocal minority that expresses themselves on social media, I was hurt, hurt and ashamed to be a part of this community. What is even more revolting is coming on LinkedIn and seeing the same comments from people within the industry. On top of exposing yourself as clearly non-decent human being, you are affecting thousands of employees that are already impacted by all the hate, despite doing their best to deliver incredible experiences. How can you wish a company to fail simply because they do not cater to you or that the product does not please you is beyond me. We are all on the same boat. Please, please, please stop spreading hate. We should all uplift each other, instead of bringing each other down. Ah, boy, boy, boy. I don't even know how to unwrap this burrito of self-pity, and before I do, let's do some good old investigative work. This individual has worked on such games as Disney Dreamlight Valley, a life sim kind of game that even though it would mostly attract children, and demented Disney fans, it's filled to the brim with microtransactions. LEGO Star Wars Castaways, a multi-award winning game made for Apple and filled with microtransactions. Both games made by Gameloft, which has more predators looking for money than PDD parties have baby oil, by the way. Now, this guy is working on Ubisoft as a monetization director. And while I can't confirm what projects he specifically worked on, he is working for a company that over the years brought you these absolute mega hits. Assassin's Creed Unity 2014 Microtransactions in a full priced game, opening up a trend to the games they have launched since. For Honor 2017 A game where it was calculated you had to grind for years to get all the items in the game without paying. Luckily, the game has been dead for so long we can't even find anyone that has broken through the matrix and accomplished that feat. Assassin's Creed Odyssey 2018 XP boosters in a single player game that you've bought for 60 euros or dollars. Andu 1800 A game where you had so many DLC and season pass that you had to pay double the initial price of the game to have all the content. Assassin's Creed Shadows, a game that hasn't even released yet, but is selling a figure on one of the editions of the game that includes an historical landmark representing the suffering after the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs that were dropped in Japan in World War II. Brother, you say we are all in the same boat. If we were all in the same boat, mine would sink with all the money the company you work for has stolen from players over the years. My boat and the other gamers boats are not the same as yours. Mine is a boat that takes me to Valhalla, where I play the lovely games that came before your stupid job title happened. Yours is the boat that will take you to hell where the devil has been warming up your throne. 
It amazes me that someone can be so aloof to the industry they work on, that they are directing blame to the consumers that are being vocal for being served shit for years. If you buy a McFlurry, you're not expecting to be served shit and smile, are you? Then why are you serving me shit and asking me to have sympathy? You complain that even the people that work in the same industry as you have this disdain for what you do and want your company to fuck off. And you wonder why the rest of the world is wrong and you think you're right? The company you work for isn't failing because it doesn't cater to certain customers. It's failing because it caters to no customers at all. If you keep making the same game over and over, you keep giving us a worse deal release after release. You keep putting the blame on players. You keep gaslighting them into thinking that what they're getting is actually really good. What do you think was gonna happen? You think you were going to reshape reality where everyone else is wrong and you're right? Are you fucking Thanos, motherfucker? Are you gonna just snap the other customers out of existence so that you can justify having good sales because the only people left alive are the ones with no brain cells left and they all bought your games? You really think it's a vocal minority that is impacting the success of Ubisoft games? Do you want to take a look at that stock price again? Do you think that's the vocal minority affecting your sales? Or do you think it's Johnny ending his 8 hour shift at the car shop, he goes to GameStop, that looks like murder at this point by the way, he looks at the shelf and he sees this, and you think, oh yeah, that looks good. Not even Johnny of the 8 hour shift at the car shop will buy that shit because he knows shit when he looks at it. There is a reason I haven't created a video in months and this is the time I'm doing it. It's because this post reads like someone that never actually cared to read what customers think about. And when that happens, you get what you fucking deserve. And I want to be very clear about this. This is not just about this monetization director. It's a prevalent sentiment in the industry that is trying to push slop onto the players and it's finally getting it thrown in their faces. You think this guy is the only one taking this? No, it's not. This just happens to be the only guy that was vocal enough to actually put it out there for everyone to see. For every one of these that you see, you can bet that there is at least 10 more that think like this and they just don't say it. Honestly, I don't think there's much else I can say about this. It just baffles me how someone can be so out of pocket with these things. When I fuck up, I tend to look inwards first. What did I do wrong? What could I improve? And it seems the video game industry is more focused on putting the blame on the consumer. Can you imagine you buy a car and the brakes only work half the time and Toyota is like, please understand these are difficult times and we need love, not hate, okay? We are all on the same boat, thanks. Except I'm not on the same boat. I'm on the car without brakes and I'm gonna meet that ball soon. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I kinda want to do videos more often. Let me know what type of things you'd like me to create. I hope you have a lovely day and bye bye.